Hey guys, welcome back. Ranger Georgie here with U.S. Fish and Wildlife from Laguna Cascosa National Wildlife Refuge in partnership with the city of Brownsville. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a traditional Japanese style fish print, also known as a daku. Now it's very simple, you don't need much. Um, a couple of things you are going to need. You're going to need one, a fish. All right, this is the first thing you're going to need. And this is what we got. So this is what we're going to be printing. Now you're going to need some paint. Now the paint that we're going to be using today, nothing fancy, I'm going to be using a little bit of black, a little bit of green, any color, your favorite colors, it can be rainbow if you want, or just have a little mixture. If you want a little shine to it like I do, I'm going to be adding in a little bit of glitter. Now I want to have time to work with this, so there's a special little chemical that you add into the paint that slows down the drying. You can buy it at a Michaels or online, anywhere that sells paints, they should have Hey, uh, this is a drying retarder. I'm also going to have a place where I'm going to put my paint in. It's just whatever we had lying around. You're going to want to clean your fish, so you're also going to want to dry it off. We have napkins. And uh, just to make it a little easier on myself, I do have some tea pins. You can use clothing pins. Anything that's going to poke into the fish's fins and onto cardboard or a boogie board or anything that you have that you have lying, uh, fish lying on. Um, so you're also going to need cloth now we have white cloth here it can be any color choice you want but just remember the color contrast if it's white use a darker paint if it's a dark go ahead and go with the metallic maybe it's silver it looks really nice and then um you can actually cut pieces of styrofoam or cardboard or if you have packing material anything to support the fins is going to work just fine and of course we are painting so we're going to need a paintbrush as well uh it doesn't have to be fancy it doesn't have to be a really expensive one whatever one all right guys, so step one of the process is we need to clean our fish. Get all that goo off, so let's get it clean. So now that our fish is completely washed, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure you dry it off. You don't wanna have any wet parts whatsoever because we're about to apply paint. Now when you're doing this, you rub very gentle as the scales can come off and you're really gonna want the scales because that's what's gonna show the detail. So go ahead and open up the bins, make sure those are dry, completely dry. Now, that's kind of important, the turn that you're going to want it because if it's facing uh, the left side and you already know where it's going to hang in your house, the last thing you want is for it to go swimming into the corner. So you're always going to want it swimming into the center of the room, wherever you're going to hang it in your house. There you go. Now that it's pretty dry. We're gonna use those T-pins to pin it down. Now I do have small ones as well as big ones. And I'll show you the difference between the two and how we're gonna use them differently. So with the small ones, you're gonna to wanna to pin the fins that are directly touching the cardboard. Now I'm using cardboard just for the fact that that's what I had lying around, but a boogie board works the best. Now the bottom seems to be staying there, so I'll just leave it with just one. Now, see with this one, if I were to put it in, just like such, it holds rather nice, but it has a little bit of give. So you're gonna have to be very careful whenever you're painting it, or you could shove something underneath it. Now, whatever you shove under there, just be sure I'm gonna do the top fin. It's gonna lie flat underneath the whole fin, and it's not gonna give it a weird bulge and it needs to be completely under the fin. Such. That ought to do just fine. Now, make sure this one stays up pretty nice. This has a lot of support fin uh, spines, so it really doesn't need much support underneath it. I didn't like the way that one was sitting, so I'm gonna add more support underneath. I'm just gonna go ahead and layer a little bit of cardboard just until it's propped up the way I like it. There we go. 
That should come out nice. Now I'm going to pin down this thing. Now, if you notice, I didn't put any support under this one. I'm just going to be very careful whenever I lay out the sheet. Now, on this one, you could either have it flat and just show off the belly, or you can show off the fin. I personally like the way it looks when the fin's out. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some more cardboard. And pin it in. Now the mouth is more or less exactly where I want it. If you wanted to adjust, all you have to do is open it up a little bit more and maybe use one of the pins or anything you have just to pry open the mouth to have it slightly open just that tad more. I don't like that look, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it natural. There you go. And here, you'll have the gills. Go ahead and stuff some napkin. Right in that gill plate. You don't want any of the napkin out. It's just gonna add that nice separation. So you're gonna have that obvious change from head to body. There you go. So now we're gonna go ahead and paint. I'm gonna be using some black and green that a good mix now I did say I like a little bit of a shine so I'm gonna add some glitter make sure that mixes in really good Now to slow down the dry time, and add in just a little bit. Now a little bit goes a long way. That should be more than enough. Make sure that mixes in. Now we're ready to paint. So, oh, but first, very important. Let's make sure the length of our sheet, perfect, is the length of the fish. Now, this is a pretty big piece, and if I wanted to, I could use it all, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut it, just so I can make it a little bit easier on myself. I know exactly where I'm gonna be framing it. So I'm gonna cut the sheet that I have in half. And I'll make final corrections later. But that's gonna go great. Now, we're gonna cover the whole fish. Go ahead and start with the head. Work your way all the way to the tail. Be sure to cover every part of this fish. Now, if you notice, I'm following, trying to follow the line that the fish has. You don't want to go past it because the sheet can wrap around. And that's why I have that small brush here. It's going to help me get a little bit more detailed exactly where I want that line to be. Now, I know this bottom part isn't going to come out, but it helps me know that I'm following that line along the whole body.
Now I don't want to paint the eye, I want to fill that in later. That way I can paint it with a little bit of shadow and give it some contrast. But again, I'm doing the same thing on the top. I'm just following that line as if you were cutting it right down the middle to get yourself a fillet. Now we're going to paint the fence. So if you notice here on the back fin, I did get a little careless and I, uh, I let the paint go on. And the reason I did that is so I can show you. If I were to lay out the sheet right now, it's going to grab all this paint. So don't worry about it. Quick, easy mistake to fix. You just lift it up from where you pinned it down. Put a new piece of cardboard. Pin that back up a little bit higher. Let's give that tail some action. Lay this out, spread it again. Just be sure to paint it over again because you were touching it. All right. Now with your big brush, you're going to make sure that it's even everywhere on the fish's body. As you're picking up some paint, you're actually spreading it, laying some back down. Now with your napkin, any green spots, go ahead and shine them away. Tuck back in anything that you need to be tucked. All right. Now with your sheet, very carefully, you're gonna lay it down from the head to the tail and just lay it down ever so gently like such and now we're going to start from the head to the tail and we're going to go ahead and rub it in just a little bit start by patting it down Work on the body first, and then you're gonna go back and do the fins. So now we're getting to that fin. Now, if you messed up anywhere along the way, it's perfectly fine. You could come back later with a small brush and fix it by hand. Now, when you're picking it up, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go from the head to the tail. And you're gonna pick up gently. And there you have it.